हेलो वेलकम टू एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर दीप माला गुप्ता डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्कूल ऑफ साइंस यूपी राशि टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रयागराज हियर वी स्टार्ट यू जी सी एच ई वन जीरो टू ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री और बेसिक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दिस कोर्स इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू ब्लॉक्स इन ब्लॉक वन यूनिट वन स्ट्रक्चर एंड बॉन्डिंग यूनिट टू मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शंस एंड रिएक्शन इंटरमीडिएट्स यूनिट थ्री एल्केन्स एंड साइक्लो एल्केन्स इन ब्लॉक टू यूनिट फोर इज स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स यूनिट फाइव इज एल्कीस साइक्लो एल्कीस डाइन्स एंड एल्काइंस यूनिट सिक्स इज एरिन्स एंड एरोमेटिसिटी यूनिट सेवन एल्किल एंड एरिलइट Here we start unit one, structure and bonding. Before starting structure and bonding, I would like to tell you about chemical bond. Now, what is a chemical bond? Chemical bond is the force of attraction between two atoms which hold them together in a compound or molecules. Now, a question arises: Why chemical bond formation take place? Nature loves stability, and bond formation is associated with stability. An element has a tendency to occupy an inert electronic configuration, which is considered as very stable. Noble gas electronic configuration can be achieved by transference of electrons, mutual sharing of electrons, donation of lone pairs of electrons. On the basis of this, there are three types of bond: ionic bond or electrovalent bond, covalent bond, and coordinate bond. This chemical bonding is also defined as the combination of two or more atoms through redistribution of electrons in their outermost shells, either by transference or sharing of electrons. among them say so that they acquire a stable electronic configuration with minimum energy objective spd and f atomic orbital tetravalency of carbon and shape of organic molecules various types of hybridization and predict the geometry of methane ethene and ethene molecule molecular orbital representation of methane ethene ethene and benzene polarity of bonds the stability of carbonium ion and carbonyl with the inductive effect resonance and steric effect stability of various alkenes with the help of hyperconjugation homolysis and heterolysis atomic orbitals and atomic orbitals may be defined as that reason around the nucleus where the probability of finding the electron is maximum the shape of these orbital can be obtained with the help of schrodinger equation schrodinger equation also gave certain specific numbers called quantum numbers which specify the location of an electron in an atom There are four types of quantum numbers: principal quantum numbers, azimuthal quantum numbers, magnetic quantum numbers, and spin quantum numbers. Principal quantum number it is represented by n, and it can have any positive integral value between one and infinity. Azimuthal quantum number it is represented by l. it can have any positive integral value between 0 and n minus 1 this quantum number provides the following information the subshell in which the electron lies the number of subshells present in principal shell the shape of the subshell the orbital angular momentum of the electron for k shell value of n is 1 permissible value of l is 0 and possible subshell s number of subshells in a shell is 1 for l shell value of n is 
permissible value of L is 0, 1, possible sepsial SP and number of sepsial in a cell is 2. For M shell value of N is 3, permissible value of L 0, 1, 2, possible sepsial SPD and number of sepsial in a shell is 3. For N shell value of N is 4, permissible value of L 0, 1, 2, 3 and possible sepsials SPDF number of sepsial in a shell is 4. Magnetic quantum number, it can have any integral or zero values between minus 1 and plus 1. Thus, for a given value of L, M will have 2L plus 1 values. The magnetic quantum number tells in which orbital an electron lies. It also tells the number of orbitals which corresponds to a particular subshell. For S subshell, L is equal to 0 and M is equal to 0. This implies that the subshell contain only one orbital because we have only one value of M. The orbital contained in an S subshell is called S orbital. For P subshell, L is equal to 1 and therefore for a P subshell, there are three permissible values of M which are plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Thus, a P subshell contains three orbitals. They are designated as Px, Py and Pz. For D subshell, L is equal to 2. Hence, the corresponding values of the magnetic quantum number will be plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. For F subshell, L is equal to 3. Therefore, the permissible values of M are plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Thus, a subshell contains 7 orbitals. That is, F orbitals are 7 fold degenerate and are quite complicated in shape and designation. A spin quantum number. The rotation of an electron around its own axis is called a spin. There are only two possibilities for a spin. Electrons can spin either clockwise or anticlockwise. When the electron spins in clockwise direction, the value plus half is assigned. While for anticlockwise spin, the value minus half is assigned. Here it is to be noted that if two atoms are joined by more than one bond, then the bond is known as multiple bond. In multiple bonds, there are two types of bonds known as sigma bonds and pi bonds. Sigma bond is formed by the head to head overlapping of two atomic orbitals. Sigma bond is formed by SS overlapping, SP overlapping and PP overlapping. Pi bonds. A bond formed by the parallel or lateral overlapping of two atomic orbitals is known as pi bond like this. Sigma bond is stronger but the pi bond is weaker. Shapes of orbitals. Each type SPD or F has its own particular shapes. Each individual atomic orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons with opposite sign. Opposite spin. Shape of S orbitals. These orbitals are spher spherically symmetric around the nucleus. That is, probability of finding the electron at a particular distance from the nucleus is the same in all directions. 1S orbital does not contain any node and is the smallest of all subsequent S orbitals. The size of an S orbital increases with increase in the value of N. Shape of P orbitals. P orbitals are threefold and degenerate in the absence of a magnetic field and possess three orientations in shape. In the Px orbital, the electron density is distributed along x-axis. While in Py and Pz orbitals, the electron density distributions are along y and z axis respectively. 
Each p orbital is dumbbell shaped and consists of two lobes of electron cloud which extend outwards and away from the nucleus along the axial line. If a p subshell is full, it holds a maximum of six electrons. A nodal pair exists between the two lobes along this plane. The probability of finding an electron is zero and consequently the electron density is also zero. Shape of d orbitals. d orbitals are five-fold degenerate in the absence of a magnetic field and possess five orientations in space. The d orbitals are designated as dxy, dyz, dxz, dx square minus y square and dz square. dxy, dyz and dxz orbitals are planar orbitals while dx square minus y square and dz square are axial orbitals. The dz square orbital is unique in shape. If a d subshell is full, it holds a maximum of 10 electrons. Shape of f orbitals. f orbitals are 7 full degenerate and possess very complicated shape and requires 3 dimensional model for representation. Now, hybridization. The chemical properties of an element depends on the electronic configuration of the outer shell. Carbon has four electrons. According to the ground state electronic configuration of a carbon, carbon is divalent, but it is tetravalent. Tetravalency of carbon is explained by promoting one 2s electron to a 2pz orbital. Some energy must be supplied to the system in order to affect this promotion. Thus in the excited state, the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1 and carbon can show the observed tetravalency. Promotion of an electron in carbon allows formation of four Covalent bond. If the carbon atom forms bond using these pure orbitals, the molecule might be angular. However, the object shape of methane is tetrahedral and all the bond angles are 109.5 degree. Methane molecule form four carbon hydrogen covalent bonds. All the bonds have the same length and strength. The methane molecule has tetrahedral geometry with bond angle of 109.5 degree. In order to explain such a bonding situation, the concept of hydrodization has been introduced. It is a hypothetical and has been introduced by Pauling and Slater. According to this concept, atomic orbital of central atom are mixed to form a new set of hybrid orbitals with identical shape. Thus the process of mixing of atomic orbitals and redistribution of energy is called hybridization and the resultant orbitals are hybrid orbitals. This theory is used to explain experimentally observed molecular shapes and equivalent bond properties. Rules of hybridization. Hybridization is often applied to the central atom only. The orbitals of similar energies take part in hybridization. Number of hybrid orbitals formed is always equal to the number of atomic orbitals which have taken part in the hybridization. Generally, all the hybrid orbitals are similar, but they are not necessarily identical in shape. Hybrid orbitals form only sigma bond. Hybridization of carbon atomic orbitals. There are three types of hybridization, sp3 or tetrahedral hybridization, sp2 or trigonal hybridization, sp or diagonal hybridization. sp3 or tetrahedral hybridization. The combination of 1s and 3p orbital is called sp3 hybridization. 
so in this type of hybridization one is and three p atomic orbital of the valence shell of the central atom of the given molecule combine to form four new equivalent half filled sp3 hybrid orbitals with identical shape and energy each of the four sp3 hybrid orbitals has 25% s character and 75% p character these hybridized orbitals are oriented 109.5 degree apart in a tetrahedral configuration that's why methane molecule is tetrahedral in shape with 109.5 degree bond angle the methane molecule thus possesses four carbon hydrogen sigma bond sp2 or trigonal hybridization in carbon atom the combination of 1s and 2p orbital is called sp2 hybridization so in this type of hybridization 1s and 2p atomic orbital of the valence shell of the central atom of the given molecule combine to form three new equivalent half filled sp2 hybrid orbitals with identical shape and energy Three sp2 hybrid orbitals has 33.3% s character and 66.7% p character. These hybridized orbitals are oriented 120 degree apart in a trigonal planar configuration. That's why ethene molecule is trigonal planar in shape with bond angle 120 degree. The ethene molecule thus possesses four carbon hydrogen and one carbon carbon sigma bond and one carbon carbon pi bond. Sp or diagonal hybridization in carbon atom. The combination of one s and one p orbital is called hybridization. So in this type of hybridization. 1s and 1p atomic orbital of the valence shell of the central atom of the given molecule combine to form two new equivalent half filled sp hybrid orbitals with identical shape and energy each of the four sp hybrid orbital has 50% s character and 50% p character these hybridized orbitals are oriented 180 degree apart in a linear configuration That's why thine molecule is linear in shape with bond angle 180 degree. The thine molecule thus possesses two carbon hydrogen like this and one carbon carbon sigma bonds and two carbon carbon pi bonds. Orbital representation. Orbital representation of methane. The ground state electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py. There are only two unpaired electrons in the ground state. However, the valence of carbon is 4. That is, it forms four bonds. In it, in order to form four bonds, there must be four unpaired electrons. Hence, carbon promotes. one of its 2s electron into the empty 2pz orbital in the excited state thus in the excited state the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 2pz1 during the formation of methane molecule the carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization in the excited state by mixing 1 2s and 3 2p orbitals to furnish four equivalent half filled sp3 hybrid orbitals of equal energy which are oriented in tetrahedral symmetry in a space around the carbon atom each of these sp3 hybrid orbitals forms a sigma bond with the 1s atomic orbital of one hydrogen atom thus carbon forms four sigma bonds with four hydrogen atoms each of the four sp3 hybrid orbitals has 25% s and 75% p character the methane molecule thus possesses four carbon hydrogen sigma bonds these hybridized orbitals are oriented 109.5 degree apart 
in a tetrahedral configuration. That's why methane molecule is tetrahedral in shape with bond angle 109.5 degree. Orbital representation of ethene. Just like in methane molecule, each carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization in the excited state to give four sp3 hybrid orbitals in tetrahedral geometry. The two carbon atom form a sigma bond with each other due to overlapping of sp3 hybrid orbitals along the internuclear axis. Each carbon atom also forms three sigma bonds with hydrogen atom. Thus, there is tetrahedral symmetry around each carbon with bond angle equal to 109.5 degree. Orbital representation of acetylene. The ground state electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1. But in the excited state, the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. During the formation of acetylene molecule, each carbon atom undergoes sp hybridization in its excited state by mixing 1 2s and 1p atomic orbitals to give two equivalent half filled sp hybrid orbitals of equal energy which are oriented in linear symmetry in space around the carbon atom there is also two half filled unhybridized 2py and 2pz atomic orbitals on each carbon atom perpendicular to the linear plane of sp hybrid orbitals both carbon and acetylene are sp hybridized the other two orbitals remain unhybridized the carbon atoms form a sigma bond with each other by using sp hybrid orbitals two pi bond is also formed between them due to lateral overlapping of unhybridized 2py and 2pz atomic orbitals on each carbon atom which are perpendicular to the sp hybrid orbitals thus there are two double bonds between two carbon atoms the ethyne molecule thus possesses two carbon hydrogen sigma bonds and two carbon carbon pi bonds each carbon atom also forms one sigma bonds with one hydrogen atoms all the atoms are present in one plane each of the four sp hybrid orbitals has 50% s character and 50% p character these hybridized orbitals are oriented 180 degree apart in a linear configuration that's why acetylene molecule is linear in shape with bond angle 180 degree orbital representation of benzene the concept of hybridization of atomic orbitals and the theory of resonance developed in the 1930s provided the first adequate description of benzene's structure the carbon skeleton is a planar regular hexagon all bond angles is 120 degree the carbon framework with the six 2p orbitals overlap of the parallel 2p orbitals forms one torus above the plane of the ring another below it this orbital represents the lowest lying pi bonding molecular orbital thank you